What is up you guys and welcome back to Hype Geek, the show where we celebrate hype and me just kicking the heck out of things. My name is Colin and today I'm joined by Nico again. Yo. Yes. What's up? How's your Japan trip? I saw? saw a lot of hype stuff. Okay, you saw and a lot I of hype stuff. took home a couple of hype Oi, thank pieces. you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pasalubong guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, I mean today today we're going to be showing you guys what Nico got from uh the Harajuku no not Harajuku area, the Ginza, Ginza Grand Ginza area. Okay. okay, so as you said uh, you thought Harajuku, but yeah. I went last week mm -hmm. or during Golden Week. Okay, oh nice. Uh, like this Golden Week. Yeah, the, this Golden Week for yeah. 2019 is extra crazy. Yeah. Because it's a 10 day yeah. holiday. It's also the time when the emperor yeah, stepped the emperor down. Yeah, right? the emperor abdicated. And yeah. th there's a new emperor, yeah. so it's a mega golden week. So we have now a new era mm. of so, you know, Japan. Because of golden week, there mm. were so many people in Harajuku. There was okay. a literal sea of people. All right. I was not able to, to get it, to, go to, get there. It to go there. Okay. But I went to Ginza. Okay, you went to Ginza. Which is uh, Ginza is the higher, the high, like, end. The high end place yeah. in town, right? So for those who don't know, yung the more luxury area of mm. the Japan. It's, yeah. uh, it's a place that I sh normally wouldn't go, but mm -hmm. there are some hype stuff there. Right. So first up, okay, that I saw is this, I went to Dover Street that? Market. Dover Street Market. Okay, so it's in Ginza. Uh, so if you're not familiar, you know, with... I've never been there. So tell me about your experience. What? Okay, I've, so, I've never been to Dover Street Market. Okay, so Dover Street Market is a high-end retailer which is also also owned, I mm. think, or managed at least by the people behind Comte de Oh, really? Mm. Oh, okay. And it's easy to find in Ginza, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, just look for the Uniqlo, the 12-floor Uniqlo okay. in the main street of Ginza. And there's a bridge connecting to the building of Dover Street Market. Hold on, I'm trying to... 12-floor Uniqlo. Yes. 12 floors. What? I mean... It's a narrow building, but still, it's twelve. It's yeah, floors. it's twelve floors. What's in it's there? It's insane. Like a it's, lot it's, of UTs. Like every UT is there. I'm yes. guessing. Oh, really? Every UT, every UT that they made is yeah. there. Yeah, but sizes, not everything. Okay, like. okay, okay. All right. But still, if you want to look for a certain UT or a certain mm. uh, uni Uniqlo piece, yeah, it's probably going to be there. Mm. Oh. That flagship. So if you are a Uniqlo junkie or you just want to, um, I don't know, <laughs> sojourn oh. to Uniqlo heaven, that's so where you go. So after Uniqlo, you okay. can head to Dover Street Dover for Street, okay. high, really high end. So stuff. these are th this is your like uh, multi branded hype gear. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot of Comme des Garcons stuff. Okay. Uh, not just play. Okay. You have home. Okay. Uh, oh, nice. Shirt. Okay. Like CDG main. I like Junya Watanabe Om. I that, think. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. Junya Watanabe, exactly. Okay. Uh, and then you have LV. Mm, okay. You have Gucci stuff, if not mistaken. You have Montclair. Montclair. You have. Uh, what else do you have? You have Off White. You have Supreme. Oh my god, wait. Did they have the fragment? Montclair, Montclair fragment is right oh, there. No! Oh, no. Oh, okay. God. You were. You, um, I wasn't allowed to take photos. Okay. Oh, you, you weren't also so we are uh, yeah, so a lot of high-end uh, hype stories in Japan uh, they actually forbid you to take hmm. photos and videos I mean I kind of understand because um, it's an experience going there even yeah. if you're not gonna shop much yeah just go around look at the clothes were you able to take any photos no a little bit okay so we're gonna be some. showing up here <laughs> some because we're uh, rebels like that <laughs> yes yeah. Yeah, but um, I spent the longest time okay at the vape area. At the vape area, of course. Because I know how much you love vape. Yes. I like vape as well. You, our first episode of Hype Geek was yeah, about Yeah, was about vape. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're all about the vape stuff. We're all about the vape uh, stuff. Got stuff too, yeah. in particular. Okay. First one is a pin. Oh, so. this is the 25th anniversary pin. Oh, it also comes in this nice vape uh, bag. Hmm. Also hype. Again, I'm going to Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so, yep. Boom. Man. Vape 25. This is, this is pretty solid. I, I was actually expecting it to be uh, plastic. So it's, it's, it's actually, it's not, it's half. That's great. Okay, that's good, that's good. So, I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice lapel pin that you can put anywhere else if you want to wrap beep. I can probably like put beep here on my real knee jacket right now. No? <laughs> anyway. Well, so up next, we have a t-shirt. Okay. It's a beep tee. Okay. Receipts. Receipts. Receipts fell. Okay. And it has a tie-dye. Oh, Big. okay. Wait, how much did this cost? This Speaking cost... of receipts, because the receipts fell. 
this cost. Let me check the receipt. <laughs> Which fell? We are so it pro. Two five yen. Two. That's still kind of expensive it for <laughs> for a pen. So so two five yen. That's around one thousand two hundred fifty pesos, which is around uh, twenty two dollars, maybe twenty something. Yeah, twenty something but dollars. It's yeah. not cheap, that's for sure. But it's babe. Yeah, but you know what? I think generally speaking, vape items in Japan are should be cheaper than anywhere else in the world. Yeah. Like example, this shirt, which Ooh. oh man, the, uh, again it comes in uh, the vape. I, I don't know paper. tissue paper, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, looks pretty. It's pretty good. It's actually a little bit oversized. Hey, you know what? It, it's actually cool. It's it's super, your size. It's my size. Because we were again, you you're not allowed. To you're fit. not. You're not allowed to fit in babe. You're not allowed to fit. So basically, you have to know your size or just guess whatever actually, size. Actually, the story was I was uh, messaging Colin. What size are you in babe? Yeah, because I remember the last time I I went there, I was um I was an L mm. for the long sleeve one that I bought in my mm. previous Japan trip in our previous mm. Japan trip for Tokyo Game Show. However, when I checked my brother's um XL uh shirts, yeah, I fitted the XL. So I was like. I don't know which one am I. So if it's oversized, I'm probably a large. If it's not oversized, if it's like a regular fitting size, then I'll probably XL. So yeah, but dude, this this looks this looks pretty dope. Look at that, tie dye shirt. You know, uh, baby it's head a really logo. big print. Um, it's there's a, really there's a variation print. of this tee with only the babe head. Yeah. Without uh, busy works. Yeah. Slightly bigger. Yeah. And then behind you get the rest of the babe head. Oh. Okay. But this one. Is a bigger print. That, that, like, that, that was the babe head one is just around, this around size. that size. Okay. This one is all over. Oh wow. Okay. And this the large is actually pretty large. Yeah, it is. It is actually it's actually pretty large, and it's a it's a box type. I think mm. it's like a box type shirt. And uh, I love the material. Yeah. So we have that. Thick. So, That's so those are the stuff. This is six eight. Six eight. Yeah. This is six eight yen, which is three thousand two hundred pesos. Three, yeah. Three, uh, well, three, three, four. Three. Yeah. Uh, which is cheaper than what you'd get in other countries. Like, yeah, in the US, this would probably cost you around $112, $118, mm. or $120. So, 5K almost 5K, 5K plus. So, so if you do plan on getting vape stuff. Uh, Actually, yeah, head out to Japan. Uh, not, you can try head, uh, Dover Street Market or you can try the vape itself. The vape store itself. Vape store itself better. Yeah. But for the experience, you have to go to Dover Street. You have to go to Dover Street. Really? Okay, tell me, I've been to the babe store, tell me about Dover Street. What's so different about this no, store? It, is, this, is, this, is this a store big? Yeah, it's a, it's a six floor store. Oh. It's a, it's not the biggest per floor, yeah. but it, it's six floors of okay. multiple brands. Alright. And the the brands, each brand has a certain... Uh, Look? Aesthetic? A certain aesthetic to it. Nice! You, just, you don't just get one type of storefront yeah. or... Store de uh, uh, design. Booth yeah. designers. Yeah. So there's a lot of flavor. Yeah. Okay. It's an experience, especially if you love fashion or streetwear. Boom. All right. Okay. So that's that's and one. Okay. That's... Before we end. Okay. Uh, there are also Dover Street Market Ginza tees, souvenir T-shirts. How much are the T-shirts? Uh, slightly cheaper than this one. I think. All right. Or around the same price. Okay. So... So that again, that's still not that bad. I mean, like if you, as you mentioned, uh, Dover Street is uh, co-founded or, or, or co-managed, run by the same people as yeah, CDG. as as Com de Garçon. So you know, if it, you, I mean, Dover Street Market is an institution. It's in itself. In itself, yeah. And there are a lot of Dover Street Market. Uh, not stores. a lot, but there are other outside, stores outside, right? Like New London. Yeah. No, an actual Dover Street. <laughs> an actual, an actual Dover Street. Yeah. Right. So okay. So now, there's that. There's the babe stuff from Dover Street Market. Thank you so much, Nico, for that. Okay, okay. moving on. Moving on. Moving on. The next one is also more hype stuff? in Ginza. Okay. Also and in Ginza. this one is another concept store. Okay. And if you're not familiar with it, it's called the Conveni. Ah, the Conveni. So if you aren't familiar with the Conveni, it's a store um, by. Hiroshi Fujiwara. Hiroshi Fujiwara of Fragment. Mm, of Fragment okay. Design. Also Hiroshi Fujiwara of AKA the godfather of Japan streetwear. Mm. So he's a really major figure yes. in the Japanese streetwear scene. Yep. And the concept for the Conveni is it's a convenience store. <laughs> so it's a, it's a shopping center for luxury goods but presented well, as a convenience wear, store. Um, it sells streetwear, tees, mm -hmm. uh, accessories, mm -hmm socks and mm. so on yeah but in a convenience store so t-shirts are in plastic bo pet bottles pet bottles okay and 
What I got are socks okay. Okay. in a milk carton. <laughs> Dude, this is. <laughs> This and is, you know what? This is so You know what? Good. Milk cartons of yeah. socks yeah. and the teas are in refs and also, refrigerators. These, these are inside refs. Which actually work. So this is <laughs> it's cold. So when you got it, <laughs> it was cold. cold socks. So there were socks inside the sample items that I opened it. What what? It's cold. <laughs> and all right, all another right. thing there. Oh okay. Honestly, I'd I'd, I'd like <laughs> I'd like to focus on this first. So you have like a milk carton. Um this one opens. Open it up. Yeah, it's um it's 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 pinned by Velcros, right? Mm -hmm. So you have Velcros, you don't have to actually rip it off. You can actually reuse it if you actually, want. Actually, if you see here, uh, this part, it says, yeah. the carton is meant to hold these items yet also possibly be applied for future uses. So it's ah. made, you can recycle this and you can use it as a design piece, yeah. as a <clears throat> case for whatever. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. Um, it also has a nutritional fact just in case you want to, uh, what, what nutritional facts they have. They have zero cal, which is really important. <laughs> Uh, total satisfaction 100%, lactose of 0%, handiness of 100, recyclable of 100, dietary value of 0, and total value to be discussed TBD. Uh, they added it here, it's around 2,300. Uh, do you want yen. to open that up? Yeah, sure. And you have oh. sneaker socks. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh my god, it's, 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 it's it fragment? It's yep, fragment. It's fragment. It's fragments, it's fragment sneaker socks. Boom. So, a fragment design is Fujiwara's signature brand. Yep. But he does not release seasonal items. He only releases like collabs okay. or stuff at, at Convene. Okay. So, um, the big release that, they, uh, that he had recently was a Thunderbolt project. project which was a Pokemon and Fragment collab. Yep. He also has a Bulgari Fragment collab. Oh, damn. Um, the, signature look of, uh, the signature logo of Fragment is this one. The, the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Yep. It's nice, huh? It says the Conveni. Uh, the Conveni. The Conveni. And then you have the Fragment uh, symbol. This is Patch? Mm, yep. Yeah, it's Patch. So, it's there. There you go. There you have it. Nice. Pretty thick socks, huh? I like the, the like the the quality of this yeah. as well. And next, all right, yeah. next. What Convin what? <laughs> Exo. <Exactly. laughs> so this is also in the fridge. <laughs> like it was beside uh, something that looked like a slice of cake, but it's actually uh, a candle, mm -hmm. an aroma candle, and this one is Exo. Please do not eat it, but you know. Oh, it says jasmine, so I'm pretty sure it smells. Good. You know what? We're gonna open it now. I don't care. I don't care. Is tape? No, no. It's a it's a stapler. Oh, it's a stapler. Like, I can't do it. I'll do it at home. <laughs> but oh, not bad. It smells that. Hmm, that's bad. It's very subtle, you know. Don't very worry. very subtle scent. Egg egg, uh, egg soap from uh, the convenience. This one costs around. Uh, that one. Five hundred. Uh, Five hundred yen. 500 yen, so 250 pesos. Yeah. Yeah, it's, not so bad. Uh, it's funny because in Japan, in convenience stores, you mm. can buy single eggs. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, that's right. You can buy single eggs. Mm, and, you know, oh, eggs. okay. Do they have this in like uh, a, a big? No. Egg? Okay, okay. Only yeah, all, single only, egg soaps. Only single egg soaps for and you And this one costs. <clears throat> 2,300 yen? 2, 3 yen. So it's yeah. a bit expensive. For yeah. it's, it's expensive for socks, but okay. it's fragment. Yeah, well, I get fragment socks on a Convini uh, packaging. So and the then packaging is really Jasmine good. Jasmine eggs, which I will probably you have not use. A fragment lip balm. <laughs> what? Right. This is an easy way for you to, you know, to rep. Mm. The brand, if you, if, if you know, if, if you, if you just want to like have a little bit of fragment for something, you, know, yeah, you again, can carry this around. Uh, when I was in Convenia, I was messaging Colin. I convinced him to to get, get all of this because I wasn't able to get Thunderbolt Project, which is what I really, really mm. wanted. Because the Thunderbolt Project uh, Fragment collab yeah. was released in Dover Street Market Ginza, but it was released back in April, oh, okay. so there are no more stuff left. Oh, man. Like you can try your luck in other DSM branches. Yeah. But not in but Japan. But not in Japan. They're all sold out. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I mean, considering that Detective Pokemon is coming out really, really yeah. soon as well. So like, <sighs> at least you have that. I'm and fine. I'm gonna Okay, it's weird. It says no um lip balm. Um it's oh it's Reta W. Oh so that's the collab. Okay. Okay, so it's Reta W and then it's a fragrance lip balm. What is this? I'm kinda scared. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, and then this is. Oh, okay. 
So, did, did, did I break it? No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, it what is a lip balm. What does it smell like? I don't know. Um, maybe it's a subtle or It's like a little bit of floral, a little bit of citrus. Oh, I smiled. Oh, I smiled. It's like um. It's great. It, it, it smiled. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm trying it out now. For you guys, <laughs> lip balm. Fragment lip. Fragment balm. lip balm. Maybe I should change this to like a beauty channel. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. For you hype beasts out there, yeah. <laughs> you uh, should totally grab a uh, fragment me. lip balm. <laughs> What hype beast needs, you know, great lips as well? Come on, you know, Come on. we're not done yet with the fragment stuff. Oh, well, that's, you're not. Uh, that's all the stuff I got from the conveni, but right. I also had, got this. <laughs> what? It's a GQ magazine with Hiroshi Fujiwara fragment. Whoa, okay. And I got this even though I can't read Japanese because, <laughs> well, I got this for him. Yeah. Because it had free stickers of GQ and fragment. Oh, <laughs> dude, you know what? Okay, that's that. That's good. That's that's too lit already. Okay, so if you're not familiar uh, with Japanese magazines, that's worth it at this point. A lot of the magazines in Japan yeah. come with freebies, like yeah. bags. Yeah, they're bags. Watches. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I used to buy like men's no no just for the freebie. Mm. Um, and then there was a babe magazine that I got as well with the freebie mm. um, tote bag. Tote bag, which really And then really you also nice. got the, got in uh, in, in here, universe, yeah. Universe. Um, I think it was men's no no for the porter. Um, organizers, travel yeah, organizers. Organ travel organizers. Yeah. This one comes with stickers. Look, it's Hiroshi Fujiwara. It's you know, um, if I remember correctly, I saw online back when the first Thunderbolt project was released. They By the way, this is, this is really good. I it's it, so lit. <laughs> I should have bought two. You should have got yeah. You, should, you know what? You should have gotten one for yourself. This is really good. Because so, I need lip balm too. No, <laughs> it's, it's it's super moist. Damn it. Huh. It's really good. Okay. So how much is it? Um, I don't know how much the lip balm is. is. Oh, is it? It's not here. It's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's in the receipt. It's in the receipt. It has like a lemony feel or taste. Um, but it's kind of floral. It's one, two. It's so around five or six hundred. Around six hundred. Yeah, so it's, it's pricey for a lip balm. But the great thing about... Oh, I mean, uh, okay, honestly, just, just trying to be really, really rational about it. You don't need a lot. Like I just applied it like once, mm. and then it was really, it was really moist. My, okay. my lips are super moist at this point. So, fragrant lip balm. But if you want your laptop or whatever stuff you have to be, instant fragment collab. Stickers. Stickers. Well, to be fair, that is the easiest, uh, you know, and material. This is to Fujiwara. Use. If you, want, if you're curious. Yeah. So this is Hiroshi Fujiwara, the Godfather of Tokyo street fashion. Hmm. Pretty much, you know, the guy that, you know, made Harajuku famous. And hmm. without Hiroshi Fujiwara, there would be no Naigo. That's true. There would be no babe. And then, you know, a lot of other Up of these now, brands which... that we enjoyed, they would not exist without this. And for you sneakerheads out there, there were also fragment design Jordan collabs. Oh! Back there. I hope they're gonna come out with one soon. Well, well. like I won't be able to buy them, of course, but I yeah. want to see. Well, if we ever do go back to Japan, I mean, I'm yeah, pretty sure. We have to go to Ginza. You we have, have to, to go, go to, to Ginza, Dover yeah. Street. So, it's yeah. An experience. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do that every around September. We go to Tokyo Game Show and uh, we spend like a couple of days just going around uh, of the city, just taking videos mm. and whatever. Other. Before, it was about geek culture. So we'll include a little bit of hype beast sneaker fashion as well for you guys. All right. So there you have it. Thank you so much, Nico, for all of these goodies. Uh, hype pulls from Japan. So comment down below. Which would you rather visit first? Or, the Conveni? Oh, that's right. Which, or Dover Street which Market? one would you rather visit first? The Conveni or Dover Street Market, right? Thank you so much for locking it here on Hype Geek. And my, my name is Colin, and thank you so much, Nico, for bringing all of these goodies from Japan. Ram, 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 maraming, maraming salamat. Yeah. And for all of you watching, for all of you subscribing, for all of you commenting down below, giving us thumbs up, sharing this video, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Uh, again, just hit, keep hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that notification button as well, so you know that when we are coming out with a new video, uh, you'll be notified. And uh, yeah, thank, just thank you so much for being with us. Maraming uh, maraming salamat. Thank you, Nico. And with that, peace out, Hype Geeks. Bye-bye. See you next time.